Well, we got back to work yesterday. We looked, uh, took a good hard look at the film, talked about some things, and uh, talked about what we have ahead of us. And uh, got a workout in, and uh, you know, got to move on from. Uh, hopefully, learn some things, get better, stay the course, and and uh, that's all you can do in a situation like this. Well, obviously, upset. And uh, in some cases, embarrassed, and then you know, mad. Um, especially after you look at the film, I, I, there's always that sense of embarrassment when you feel like you let down you let down your teammates. I mean, the guys played hard. We didn't play smart. Um, when you when you look at certain plays, like it, you can't let down. When you're playing against a great back, that's going to make he's going to hurt you if you're not in the right spot. I mean, a good example was, uh, I think, the first touchdown, the one where Coop missed a tackle on the sideline. They had run that play before early in the game. We tackled it for either a loss or no game. You know, and I've been saying, you know, playing great means, doesn't mean doing anything out of the ordinary. It means doing, executing play after play after play. And, and to a certain extent, on both sides of the football, that's hurt us all year. The, the misconception is if you have a lot of talent, you can just go ahead and throw them out there and play. It doesn't work that way. You better, you better be able to execute. I, 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 I got to tell you, I didn't expect us to play the way we did the other day. I expected more of what we saw early on in the game. Um, I thought we struggled a couple years ago because at that point in the season, we weren't very good. I thought we were better now. Um, and I do, I still think we're better than what we played, obviously. I don't think Tommy had his best game the other day. And, uh, but he's, you know, and I think he's disappointed. Uh, but where he is is where I think he's going to, he's still a, a good football player, a good competitor, and he's going to, he'll, he'll be better um, as we move forward. I believe that. He, he'll continue to work. He made some mistakes. Um, obviously, he, he, I thought, you know, fundamentally he wasn't great in, in, in his footwork and it hurt him at times. And, uh, and also in, in some cases, like I said before, we got to play better around him. And, uh, it was like, uh, it felt like that, uh, like it changed a little bit for our guys, a little bit when, when we had that fumble when we were going in. Um, about the, I think we were about the 40 yard line or so. We were on, in their plus territory. And, um, and then it, then it uh, see, that's where it seemed to snowball. And I think from that point, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember exactly the drive charts, but I think when we started the third quarter, I think we went. Somewhere along the line, I think we went about four possessions almost in a row where we turned the football over. And uh, obviously, that's a recipe for disaster. I, I, and I don't think it's a leadership issue. I mean, so to a certain extent, I don't know. You know, you sit there and you think about it and why it happened. And, you know, it felt like deja vu to me, you know, and you, on some of the things I watched out there. And, and uh, I, I felt like we were almost in a worse situation at times during the Michigan State game. Um, but our guys responded a certain way. But at some point, you got to you, you got to be able to make you got to make a play. Um, but I think our guys at times, you know, you know, I, I don't want to. I I feel like I don't want to make an excuse because I'm not making an excuse. At the end of the day, what happened happened. But sometimes I feel like our guys are putting so much pressure on themselves to win that. Uh, that they're not going to play to win; they're playing not to lose, and um, and that's a bad that's a bad recipe. And I, I you know I think sometimes, I mean th these kids want to win in the worst way, and uh, they want to have success. And um, I don't know, you know I try to you know you you try to think back as a coach. Did you, you know did you handle it the right way? Did you? Did you not put too much pressure on them? Whatever, or did you did you try to not put pressure on them? Give them the best chance to to go out there, have fun, and enjoy the game. And uh, um, I don't know if that was the case. Merrick came out of the game pretty good. I mean, he, uh, I, you know, he, uh, I think it was his. Uh, the knee's fine. I, he kind of banged his shoulder a little bit, but uh, I think he'll be fine going forward for the Minnesota game. Randy's good. I think it scared him more than anything. It was one of those deals, almost like in a basketball game, where your ankle turns over, and but it's not as bad as you think. It was kind of more of a low ankle sprain, but 
even then it wasn't as bad. He he could you know he was good to go if we would have put him. We just decided to pull him at that point. I'm not real. I wasn't. I I'm very consistent with our kids. Um, I don't get real too high or too low. Believe it or not, <laughs> I know you guys look at me sometimes and think that's impossible. But I don't get real. I, I'm very consistent in how I look at it and how I approach it, and uh, always have. Um, I'm very businesslike and to the point during the week. And as far as and you know, joking at times and. But when you watch the film, I mean, I'm very uh, detail-oriented and, and uh, almost a perfectionist as far as how I want those guys to approach the, their trade. Because I always believe to keep your mind on that. Some of the things that uh, that hurt us were magnified, but I see some of those things during the week, and we preach it. You know, it does. And I said, like I told our guys, I said to some of our to defensive guys yesterday, I said, it doesn't matter whether you're playing Wisconsin. I've seen the scout team make some runs like that. And, and you know, so <laughs> is, it, is it a to total surprise? No. But the amount of them and, and some of the types of mistakes we made, yes, that, that was, a, that was uh, obviously – very disappointing but if you if you're not focused you're not approached you're not executing it doesn't matter who you're playing or where you're playing you're you're, you're going to look bad and it doesn't take you know it's you know you can sit there and say oh you know i don't know what people are saying but saying hey you just got mauled but you know one or two one or two guys makes a mistake against a good football team and a good back and, and it's going to make all the all 11 look really bad same thing offensively you could have everybody blocked. And we had some chances, even as the game went on, for some breakout runs. And, but when you have one guy here or there who turns somebody loose or uh, that you don't execute, you, you have a wrong assignment, it makes it look like across the board you're getting, the, you know, getting your tail kicked, and, and it's not necessarily the case. Yeah, every game, Lee, is high stakes. We've won a lot of football games here since I've been here. So a lot of football games that uh, a, lot of two, a lot of programs across the country would die to have won a lot, the amount of football games we've won. Since I've been the head football coach, well, we've been the three. We've won. Uh, we've been very consistent. I'm, you know, look, I'm not looking here to, to defend uh, our program or where we are right now. What I what we came here to do was win a national, win a conference championship, and win a national championship. And we're going to fight tooth and nail to to keep trying to get that done. But I'm not going to sit here and uh, and uh, make uh, and apologize for the for the job. The time I'll start apologizing was I stop when I stop working. And uh, you know, I believe that. Uh, the program's on, the, on a good track. It's on the right track. And uh, we have two more games left in the season. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe three, but, you know, two for sure. And then uh, hopefully a good bowl game if we can finish it out, finish this out right. The thing that we can control right now is the next week. And we got a really good opponent coming in here. And that's where my focus is right now. I agree. And you don't. I've thought. I've spent wake on. You know, a lot of hours trying to figure out why. Why all of a sudden we in a situation we would jump off sides, or why we would all of a sudden put the ball on the ground four series in a row. Um, it's hard to identify. What? At the end of the day, you just got to play better. We had some guys that were open uh, that we missed, and we had some opportunities, but. Uh, um, you know, he, he's just got to keep working to keep getting better, get more efficient. They do a lot of similar things. I mean, you see some things that are similar, some that are, you know, some that are different. But uh, I would say that there's a lot of similarities. And, you know, they got a, they got a good back in their own right. Cobb's a really good player. Have I thought about that? Yeah, I've thought about it. But is that the right answer? No, it's not a, it's not a scheme thing. You know the scheme is where you know the it's it changes week to week and it works. Um, it doesn't matter what the scheme is. At the same time, you know you 
you got to have you got to be you you got to execute it and if i went into a game or i came out of a game and said what we did was unsound then i'd be you know i would sit there and say you know what if if it doesn't work or if it doesn't uh you know structurally it doesn't work then yeah i better take a look in the mirror and figure out something else but um we need to coach it better that's what we need to do